Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be reading Consent Ninja by Mary Nin. Mary dedicates this book to her children, Mikey, Kobe, and Jojo. I'm Consent Ninja, and I'm the boss of my own body. What are you talking about? I'm talking about giving consent and that we each hold the power to it. There was a time I didn't know I had control of my own body and that I had a voice. Give me a kiss. Okay. Share your food with me. Sure. It wasn't until Communication Ninja shared with me what consent meant, and how to practice it, that I learned how to be the boss of my own body. I've summed it up and call it the BOSS method, B-O-S-S. B for boundaries, O for object, to say no, S for speak up, by saying what you want or how you feel, S for share, with a safe adult or trusted friend. What's the boundary anyways? When we give consent, it means we agree to something, especially when it has to do with our bodies. Consent allows us to be in charge of our bodies and set boundaries. So others know what we like and don't like. Hey, I don't like that. Boundaries are limits. When someone says or does something that trespasses our boundaries, We can object by saying no. Let's go play. No. Share your milkshake. No, thank you. Trade me socks? Ew, no. Can I see your underwear? No way. I'm going to kiss you. Nope. To set boundaries, we can speak up by saying what we want or how we feel. I'm not comfortable with that. I don't like that. Please don't show me that. I don't want to be touched. I want you to stop. What should my boundaries be? You get to decide because it's totally up to you. Keep in mind, there are times you don't get to decide. Like when you have to hold a parent's hand while crossing a busy street. When someone doesn't respect your boundaries or pressures you to change them, it's time to share with a safe adult or trusted friend. No, not with the dog. Sometimes someone you know or a stranger may do things that make you uncomfortable. These things may involve... Keeping things secret. Being alone with them. Inappropriate touching. Threatening, bribing, or controlling. No matter what, remember to share with a safe adult or trusted friend, even if the behavior has stopped. A few more points about consent. Consent is a two-way street. It's important to give consent and listen to others for consent. Sometimes consent isn't clear. If you're unsure, it means no. Should you share your friend's private pictures or stories? No. Imagine a neighbor just asked for a hug. You agreed. But a few seconds later, it doesn't feel right. Can you change your mind? Yes, you can change your mind anytime. Never mind, let's just do an air high five. Sometimes people might get upset at you for changing your mind, and that's okay. It's still your body. Consent can happen anytime and anywhere. But one thing consent is not is when a person uses his authority to get someone else to agree. 
Give me your candy. Here, you can have it. Just because someone is wearing certain clothing, it doesn't mean consent either. We can't assume we know why people are dressed a certain way. Maybe they wear that to sleep, or they just like wearing it daily. Come on, let's dance. I'm not ready. Remember that no matter what, when someone doesn't respect your boundaries, it's never your fault. If someone doesn't respect your boundaries, it's time to get help. Tell a safe adult. Reach out to childhelpline.org. Contact police by calling 911. Remembering the boss, B-O-S-S -S method, could be your secret weapon in protecting yourself. B for boundaries. O for object. S, speak up. S, share. Now you know all about consent and the B-O-S-S -S method. B, boundaries. O, object. Say no. S, speak up by saying what you want or how you feel. Share with a safe adult or trusted friend. The end. I want us to go back to this page for a moment because it has a very important message that I want you to hear. Remember that no matter what, when someone doesn't respect your boundaries, it's never your fault. If someone doesn't respect your boundaries, it's time to get help. Tell a safe adult, reach out to childrenhelphotline.org, contact the police. Thank you so much for joining me today on Storytime with Lynn, reading Consent Ninja by Mary Nims.